You guys better love this video because I burned myself. I've got battle wounds. Hey everybody, it's Bea Becca and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super special recipe for you guys. It's one of my very favorite ones. They're three layer brownies. The first layer is nice, delicious, ooey gooey cookie. The second layer has, yes, Oreos in the middle and a nice layer of brownie on top just to pull it all together. I cannot wait till she gets to make this. You can take this to any event, anything, and people will love you because who doesn't like a three layer brownie? Stay tuned so you can watch how to make this. For this recipe, you will need Oreo cookies, some type of cookie dough, and your favorite brownie mix, as well as a nine by nine inch pan. Okay, so for this recipe, the very first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and prep your brownie mix. Follow the instructions on the back of the box of whatever kind of brownie mix you use or if you have a family recipe you like to use. I'm a big fan of the Duncan Hines, personally. So you just wanna follow the instructions on the back. Mine calls for two eggs, because I like them fudgy. Oil. That was half a cup, and this is a fourth of a cup of water. And then two large eggs. One egg. Crack that very bad. Two eggs. And now we're just gonna whisk it all together. Okay, now that my brownie mix is all nice and done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my nine by nine inch by nine inch baking sheet and I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. That's gonna take like 20 years because we all know I'm terrible with parchment paper. This should be fun. But I've learned that the best thing to do is to put your first layer down. So I'm gonna get my cookie dough. You could use the tube kind. I use this packet kind because my grocery store ran out of the tube kind. Well, they had one, but it was a family size, and you're not gonna even eat all of this. And you wanna do a good first layer of chocolate chip cookie. And that, my friends, is the oven preheating. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So the way that I figured out parchment paper is I spray it, just kind of like in a madness. And then I just put like whatever I need first. Since the cookie dough is like my first layer, I'm gonna pretty much use it like as a weight. And then I just cut around it then. And you can see. And that's how I conquered parchment paper. I hate you. Okay, so now that our first layer's out of cookie dough, you're gonna wanna like play with it and get a nice even layer of cookie dough. Kinda like your crust. And I created the first layer, and just like that I flattened it out. And then next, you're gonna want to do a second layer of Oreo cookies. We'll do the double stuff or the regular kind. I had the regular kind, so I do the regular kind. And you just want to do a layer of those. Then you want to just fill the whole layer up. Put them tight as tightly close together as you can. Okay, this is your second layer. And now we want to go ahead and get our brownie mix and fill it right up to the top. And that will be your third one. So I'm gonna put like a big ball up. Okay, and I went ahead and added that last layer of delicious brownie mix. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 35 minutes. Just keep an eye on them, make sure when the brownie mix is perfectly done, they'll be all set. So it'll be about 35 minutes, and then you wanna rest them for about an hour to two hours. Okay guys, for the best part of every video, I'm gonna go ahead and do the taste test. I love you because there's so many layers to you. Guys, this is so decadent. There's nothing, there's the definition of decadent has a picture of this brownie mix next to it. Like, 
it's like every chocolate desire put into one. And I mean, like, if you're on a diet, this is not for you. Because let me tell you something, once you taste that, you ain't gonna be on a diet no more. You're gonna say, goodbye, I'm gonna eat chocolate all night long. Now, if you're like me and love chocolate, this is a dessert for you. If you're not the chocolate fan, maybe you should lay off of this. But, come on, who doesn't love chocolate? Chocolate's like everything. One of the many reasons why I love these brownies is that they pair great with simple things like milk or just a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And voila, you have this super delicious dessert ready to go. Just whenever you have people in your life and you need to do things. And these are perfect for the holiday season as well. If you're gonna have a get together, which you know, it is coming soon. We're gonna have to hang out with our friends and family. It's gonna happen, we just have to deal with it. And as always, remember to hit that like button if you liked what I did today and to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. My arm hurts.